This is Stella. <laughs> I love you. Indeed, in trouble. Have you been treating the street cats badly? I sent spies. I sent some of my finest cats to visit your humble abode, and sadly, they all reported the same things. You were not kind. To the ones you should be worshipping. My family would not take this kindly. And as you know, you should know better because I am that statue that you should be worshipping. Yes, now that I'm here, you should be afraid. Very afraid of what you've done. I've heard you haven't been giving even your house cat any wet food, and you've just been playing what? Video games? Neglecting your duties? Not doing your chores? Not cleaning the litter box? The mere essentials. And don't get me started on playtime with the cats. You have not been enriching their lives with other toys and other string toys and you have not been providing boxes for these cats absolutely unacceptable really and for that I've decided that I must punish you it's not going to be too difficult but you do have to wear a uniform and uh, oh yes if you see my face my real face you become my full-time slave. You will report to me in every single cat and you will give them all the food that they desire and every other whim. You don't take me seriously. I see. I guess you really do want to be my slave. How adorable. This is not going to be a fun vacation. Now that you have seen my face, it's time to get you prepped to becoming a full-time cat slave. You should have been worshipping, worshipping all cats, and instead, instead you let my cat starve and have fun yourself. You. Oh, you. You need to do better. Here. Take this feather. I want you to, yes, fan me. Excellent. Hmm. Did anyone tell you that you are extremely dirty and gross? Yeah, what is this? Cats are the cleanest animals. We don't need anyone to take care of anything for us. Did you stop fanning? Okay, you may stop so that I can clean your whole face. I don't want you to do it yourself because you seem very incapable of anything. You know, I used to be a lioness prowling around, but it got really tiring and makes it a lot harder to communicate with you mortals about anything. The lions scare you, so I became my tiny cat. 
and that seemed to work. I helped out where I could. Killed vermin, saved crops. Oh yes, I am one of the sole reasons that you have the ability to even be alive. So be thankful and worship the ground that I walk. And now I need to get you into your uniform. Yes, your uniform. You think I was joking about you becoming one of my subjects? Well, there you go. Your first pair of ears with little bells on it. How cute. You don't like it? Well, too bad. Goddesses do not negotiate. Oh, I just dropped some catnip. Can someone pick that up? Follow the cat light. Once you see yourself in the reflection, I want you to ponder what you could have done differently to avoid this outcome. Hmm. It seems like you haven't learned your lesson. Well, in that case, I think I need to give you a little makeover. Your hair is too long. It's time to cut it. Have you ever heard of a slave with long hair? No. No, neither have I. Cut off those human ears. You only need cat ears, right? <laughs> oh, this is just my human form. I have many cat forms. So if you ever mean to a cat, you have to be aware that it could be me. And, you know, I was sent here because of all the reports that I've been having. Maybe they were wrong, but I don't know. The cat ears look and shabby on you. I'm actually going to take those off. I want you to practice with this. How do I? You need to be more entertaining to your cats. And with this cat toy, it's actually a hypnosis device. You will honor all the cats do you see? And you will make sure to take care of them and do their every whim because from now on you can communicate with said animals. <laughs> yes, this was the plan indeed. What's that? You don't want to be a slave. Slaves don't get a choice. Put on your uniform. There's cats on it. Hmm. The finishing touches. No, the serum could be a toxin. It could be something good. I'm not gonna tell you. Oh, you can't say no to me, can you? I know. Say so, ah. Yeah. That here is the elixir of life. If you do not behave when I inevitably have to leave, the elixir will start making you feel a certain type of way. 
And the only antidote to that, well, is to summon me. And to summon me, you must turn on this. It will summon me, of course. However, it is a little bit finicky. I don't really like it. What's that? Oh. You made a gift for me? In my likeness. Is this a joke? Isn't this Anka from Animal Crossing? Ugh, you and your video games. I know what you've been up to. You cannot fool me. Although that is a great character. She's beautiful and gorgeous and deserves the world. But regardless, how dare you compare me to a mere Animal Crossing villager. And I totally do not play, because I uh, totally do not know what that was. What were we doing again? Oh yes, my slave. <laughs> From now on, I want you to hold all the mice that the cats are carrying. I want you to make sure they all have wet food. I want you to go out fishing. And make sure that each cat has three fish in her village. Do you understand? If not, then you will be going off and, well, the pharaoh will not be happy because him and I are great friends and uh, I can make sure that he pays as well. Just kidding. The pharaoh is God. Poor siblings, honestly. Mm. But yeah, behave. Because I can easily have you executed. this. This is my fish charm. I can help any cat find a fish as I strip this. So, <laughs> anyway, besides the heresy of, well, one, just being disobedient, but I also heard you say something about dogs and how they're better. I mean, dogs are great, Anubis, you know, but you cannot say that they're better than the cat. That's just not right. If you do, well, you know what happens. Your clock is ticking. I suggest you get some warm milk ready. It's almost feeding time, isn't it? <laughs> Dinner, so to speak. Well, I have to go off to distant lands and punish any other anti-cat people. So you sit tight. I will check up on you again and make sure you keep your hair short, your paws on, and get new cat ears, because those were just, where'd you get those? Those are awful. <sighs> That's the last time that I will allow this to transpire, so remember, you better treat the cats well, because I will hear about it. I hear and see all that are cat related. Hmm? You want to see me again? <sighs> well, maybe. Next time, hopefully, it's with better circumstances. <laughs> no. I don't appreciate your rudeness to my cats, but I see you are turning a new leaf, so maybe you aren't so bad. <sighs> Fine, I shall visit more often on happier terms, but like I said, make sure to treat my cats well. If not, you know what will happen. The serum is still 
I have your system. Then again, I know all. <laughs> Go back to sleep. Thank you to my YouTube members, Alison Drake, Elijah Rivas, Leon Khan ASMR, Stuart Keylock, Be Funny But Kind. I really like ASMR, but my friends would understand, so I made this account. Pryon, Fukishi Miste, Lumi Star Number One Fan, Lunar ASMR, Random User, Shaggy Rubbers, Renny, Third Street, St. Mountain Cloud, Boys Kiru Coco, Renegade 531, and Love is Erratic. Thank you. Thank you to my patron members, Austin, Greg, Love is Spastic, Alec Tettleman, Connor, Drumrack, Fetch a Plute, Isa, Jagger, Jennings as yet untitled, Kino Toy, Que, Lovely Fox, Maddie Vibes, McFlyo, <laughs> Melancholy Joker 19, Michael McCullen, Neon Con ASMR, Papa Palpatine, Synergy 12, Terry, Tim Heitzma, Titan, Wander, Chris Tate, Elijah Pardita Rivas, Fallen Ash, James Rise, Jeff, Kevin Hammond, Stephen Coakley, Tetra Ornsey, A.S. Marshani, Flitchity Bing Bing, Ratatatatata, and Ravi. Thanks.